morning. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, and I'm out looking for owls. Apparently this forest I'm walking in right now has the highest concentration of tawny owls in all of Sweden. So there should be a good chance of finding them, but I'm trying to keep my expectations low, of course, because as always, we're dealing with wildlife and nature and there are absolutely no guarantees. But uh, come along with me on my little adventure today and we'll see what we can find. I always investigate old oak trees like the one right here. Tawny owls love them and they are pretty territorial so they often come back to the favorite tree and you'll find them resting there during the day. Unfortunately there was no owl in this one here and no owls in the other oak trees I've looked at so far but uh, I'm gonna keep going. Still, uh, still think I'm gonna find one. So I've been walking around for a few hours now and I haven't found anything and that's just part of the game. But I only, I only have one day here and I was really hoping I'd find some tawnies. They're, they're very common here in Sweden and Europe in general but they're exotic for me because I live in Canada and we don't have them over there. So uh, yeah, I just gotta keep on looking and uh, cross my fingers, I'll, I'll find some. First tawny owl of the day, and I'm so happy. I've never been in these woods before, so there's quite a lot to explore. But I found her sitting in an old oak tree here. I was walking down the trail, and I, I saw the tree, and I thought I'd investigate. And sure enough, the most beautiful face was sticking out of this cavity in the tree. And I'll show you on the back of my camera here. One second. A few quick notes on how I set up and the settings I use when I take photos of owls. In most cases it's going to be somewhat low light conditions, so you need a longer exposure to get you know, a sharp crisp shot with low eyes. So, so I always bring my tripod, can't do this hand holding. And right now I'm actually down to 1 40th of a second at f4 and that means I can get the ISO all the way down to 280 and again that would not be possible if I were hand holding and I set it to a two second delay and then I often use either a remote or just a touchscreen function and so I set it to the delay so that uh, I avoid as much shake as possible and then you end up with really good crisp sharp probably exposed images mm -hmm. 